Alright, everyone, video game pricing. This one's by, like, Video Game Donkey, I believe. Yeah, Video Game Donkey. <laughs> this guy's a huge YouTuber. <laughs> now, sorting through. Video games are an expensive hobby, but. They are, bro, unless you're freaking pirating. Which is, uh, you know, not the coolest thing, because if you pirate them, a pirated copy is uh, not worth anything. So that's why if you invest in physical copies, they'll be worth more later on, right guys? And that is awesome. But at the same time, games are cheaper and more accessible today than ever before. Oh! Is that and cash? That looks like cash. Maybe it's like some, um... Like video game manuals or something, guys. I have no clue what that was. 600 launched in 1977. It cost $200, which doesn't sound too horrible Eesh. until you adjust for inflation and realize... 901. Oh my gosh, dude. And I don't think I don't think adjusting for inflation is uh, proper here because they're gonna lower the price. No one's gonna be selling a, a video game console for like a uh, 900 bucks, right, guys? Maybe the PS5 when it first released. Yes, that was like it costing 900 dollars. Imagine paying 900 dollars to play this. Hey, it was the first of its time, bro. We did we didn't we didn't have home home consoles, bro. I think we might have had, like, arcade games. Maybe not. Guys, would you play an arcade game if it was like this? Would you put a quarter in? <laughs> Some game, huh? Some game! Oh, he just straight up yelled inside the store. Okay. $60. This is what you expect no. to pay for a brand new AAA video game. No. But where did this price come from? Well, in those initial Atari days, games were going for $20 to $30. So, pretty good deal. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. What the fuck? $120. Guys, uh, I apologize if there was an echo, man. I'm so pissed off. Was the plaque attack? Oh, no. $120 to play Oink. Oink, ladies and gentlemen. $120. What is it? Uh, oink, bro? What no, is that? To play tax avoiders. Why did you have to avoid paying your taxes? Because video games cost $120. God damn. Jump. No, it's not. Smash Ultimate. Guys, this was like my favorite game growing up, to guys. To times, games are now $60, which was like 150 Jesus Christ. However, that price point would remain at 60 going into future console generations, so while the value of the dollar dropped... I'm so pissed. Hold on, we gotta do this re... Okay, looking back, I actually don't have to redo the reaction, so... Uh, let's keep watching, guys. Sorry the lighting changes, I just like looked in like my... The lighting keeps changing and everything, man. It's pissing me off. Christ, however, that price point would remain at 60 going into future console generations. So while the value of the dollar dropped, video games were subtly... So one dollar was worth a hundred dollars, wow. What the heck, bro? <laughs> one dollar... One dollar's worth three dollars now, man. Three times. And this is only three years ago. It just keeps going down. Well, it actually went up. It actually... Inflation actually did the opposite at, at one point, guys. That'd be so cool if it did that. But also bad, because I'm sure there'd be negatives to it. ...becoming cheaper with each passing year. Except when they try to sell Turok for... $80 for Turok? What? There better be over 80 dinosaurs in this game. $60 is still a lot of money today, but for a top-of-the-line video game that you are going to... Play Seventy dollars for a uh, breath of for a uh, tears of the king. Play and joy for the rest of your life. A work of art the developers poured years of their lives into. Sixty dollars for that? That's just a good deal. The joke is, how many sixty dollar games meet that criteria? I know it should be hundreds of thousands because they put so much work into it, right, guys? <laughs> I'm kidding. Let me turn on my uh, brightness here. I just have my brightness set like that. It's bright, man. Uh, I like to have it on lowest brightness, but... These dumbass games out here, you should be paying me $60 to play this bullshit. The price... Guys, what the heck was going on? Hulk was a uh, glitched out right there. Has absolutely nothing. Yeah, the, the replayability of some of these games, you, you'll be playing these games for years. Like, Super Smash Brothers, I spent $60 on the game. I play it every day, like, four hours a day, man. Do with the quality of a game. Madden costs as much as Mario Odyssey. Assassin's Creed is 60 and Red Dead 2 is 60 Cyberpunk is an unfinished game, doesn't matter, $60. Doom Eternal is one of the best shooters. 
It, uh, Cyberpunk looks like a fun game. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto V, guys. Like, it's still being played. It's still being modded. The mod community keeps these games afloat while uh, while the developers work on the new version, it's a long right? Time. Eh, also, sixty dollars. It's like if you walked into a car dealership and you could buy a Rolls Royce for the same price as a used PT Cruiser, where it gets even more. My neighbor drives one the one of those one, and uh, whenever I see uh, like a picture of the PT Cruiser, it makes me think my neighbor is in there. But I don't know. It's just my psychosis. I think instead of uh, when you take into account indie games, Celeste, Cuphead, Sonic Mania, Inside, Gungeon, these are some of the best games you can play, and they cost twenty dollars. Meanwhile, Metal Gear Survive is thirty, Sonic Forces was forty, Balan Wonderworld was sixty. What the fuck are these? Baldur's Gate three for early access. And if, you, if you're buying early access, you better get the whole game as well, bro. Prices. They're just picking an arbitrary number out of... Bal By the way, Baldur's Gate 4 is now. This is a two-year-old video. Bond's golden hat. Marketing will for... But they do support, like, you know, if you like the game, you buy the game, it supports the company, and then we get more games from the company. Ever manipulate gamers into wanting to buy the brand new cutting edge game, even when there's nothing new about the game because it's all built on recycled technology from years ago. Now, that is one thing. They just take their copy and edit it a little bit, improve it, basically. My question is, why is everyone in such a rush to play a new shitty game that isn't even finished yet that cost a lot of money? Uh, I'm sure they're perpetually unfinished because you know if you, if I buy a new game I want the previous versions of it like you know what I mean I want to I want to mod the game I want mod tools on the game so I can mod it if I want right guys I want to be able to save state Un whenever when you motherfuckers haven't even played any of the classics that have been out for years banjo is for the Here's, win man why are you trying to play mass effect andromeda when you haven't even played mass effect 2 why are you buying metal gear survive when you haven't even played metal gear solid why are you buying any game when you haven't even played mario galaxy yet you big bitch i feel like i just have to start showing up at game stops at this point when i see somebody pick up a dumbass game i didn't knock it out of their hand like no I, that, I thought that was like a similar i thought it was a game itself bro it was real no, life go pick a better game coffee that god of war is 17 dollars uncharted is 16 doom is 25 so many of my friends have like a PS4 instead of a PS5, guys. Man of Pain is 18, Devil May Cry is 23, so don't let me catch you out here spending $70 on lawn mowing simulator like I Guys, is that no, real? No, will. Nah, I've never seen a Discord ad on a game before. That's, that's interesting. I will come down on you for doing some bullshit like this. Even good games drop in value fast. Ubisoft junk even faster. More than ever, video games are fighting over your money, and as the industry grows, so do your options as a consumer. And that's a huge game, Final Fantasy, man. Do they not? Now, oh, finally, we get to Nintendo. That's my fave. Said games drop in value fast two seconds ago. I was talking about every game that isn't made by Nintendo. Nintendo games are expensive. Why though, man? Skyward Sword is a 10 year old Wii game. $60. Mario Kart came out in 2014. Doesn't matter. $60. Why are they so expensive? Because it says Nintendo on it. Nintendo is. Dude, Nintendo's for the win. brand in video games. They have one, two, three, four, five games, which could be considered the pinnacle of their genre. Not to mention 3D platformers, which you might as well just call the 3D Mario. Super Mario Wonder coming out as well, guys. Who's who's hype? Who's Mario hype? Game genre at this point. Not only is Nintendo the best game developer today, but they have been for four decades. And this is how they. Because that these games are just for the win. Selling Kirby for sixty dollars. Nintendo games are. Hey, I, I I like a Kirby, man. I, Not created equal. Don't like uh, don't like this one though. Animal Crossing is a no go for me. But they are sold as equals. Mario Odyssey is thirty eight dollars, and Splatoon two is fifty five dollars. And I just gotta sit here and. Odyssey should be sixty dollars at this point. Say, okay, while I would gladly pay a hundred dollars for a game as good as Pikmin three, I feel disgusted and insulted when you ask sixty dollars for Pokemon Sword. Get the fuck out of here. I'll give you one dollar for this game. Man, he didn't like a uh, Pokemon Sword, guys. I don't, I don't really play the Pokemon games. Have you ever heard the expression, the best things in life are free? Such as you subscribing to me or this guy. <laughs> League of Legends, Valorant. Or your Twitch Prime, guys. Fortnite. All of the best video games are free. Hey, I think it's true. 
with the number one game being like a free to play one, right guys? Wait, the $60 annual franchise is now a dinosaur. Call of Duty and Battlefield are higher quality games. That's right, RuneScape should be free to play, guys. Game. Like, completely free to play. That'd be cool. But then, then again, bots. ...in such an exploitive way that people are flocking to free to play titles instead. Why pay $60 for a game with a one year lifespan when they're still updating Fortnite with free content years later? Then you got Overwatch over here, $40. Dang, bro. These games are just winning, it seems. For a game that is 10 times more polished and replayable than any Call of Duty or Battlefield, and they added how many characters and maps to that game over the years. And now Halo Infinite is going free to play? $60 for this bullshit? Those are literally all different Battlefield games as well, man. Look at that's so this much. This is over. 2042 looks cool though. Happy New Year Xbox. Now back in my day, this must have been around 1910, there was a rental store called Blockbuster. Blockbuster had a deal called Game Pass where you could pay a monthly fee to keep out one or two games and you could come in whenever you wanted and swap them out for another game. Back then... Guys, I used to go to Blockbuster all the time, it was cool man. This was the best way to game the system. Anyone a fan of Blockbuster? Because I am, for sure. I remember Blockbuster always had that movie, Pirates, and it, it, it didn't have Johnny Depp in it. I think it was this was a different version of the movie. Today, that deal lives on. Was that like a, a rated R movie? The Xbox Game Pass. For $15 a month, you can get access to a pretty decent library of games. I think it's something like 300 games, and there is some really good stuff in here. The only thing wrong with the Xbox Game Pass is that the second I recommend this to people, you already know snake ass. It's like $1 a month now, guys. Microsoft is going to triple the price on this thing. It's $1 a month, I think. But yeah, man, I wanted to play Nintendo Retro Games. It's like five ninety nine a month, bro, and you got you got to pay for twelve months at once. It is so BS. Sadly, many of the best video games out there are not available on any modern devices. Say you want to play a Sega Saturn game. Well, first you're gonna need the console. What the fuck? And then the game. Let's look for. Or you can get an emulator. Panzer Dragoons. Not, uh, no, this is not advice for me, but it's just, it's just so much, bro. Guys, that, that, that game was made to be, like, uh, collected, I think. Now, Whoa. remember when I said that games drop in value? We are at a point where remastered versions of games are now outdated. Metal Gear Solid 4 is still only playable on the PS3. Ridge Racer? That doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Do you... Then they moved on to different games, right, the guys? Renzo Racer? <laughs> Good. Good. Goldeneye? What the fuck is Golden? Are you talking about Golden Tea? That's not a real game. I think you're thinking of the Watch Dogs 2 Golden City bundle. Tekken 3? Eh? Are you talking about the Tekken 7 Season Pass 3? Beautiful Joe. What? You mean Joe's Diner? Emulator? What the heck is Joe's Diner, man? Beautiful Joe. Uh, I kept seeing that in stores. I never got it, though. I should have. Right? is pretty much the only practical way to get at classic games. If it's on arcade, NES, NES, Genesis, PS1, Game Boy, DS, PS2, N64, or GameCube, you can probably emulate it. Now, this may or may not... That's for the win, bro. ...technically be legal. But this is just a straight-up fucking crime. And what's nice about emulating games is that oh, man. they're all... How's this in, how's this in like, uh, how, how do they scale it like this? Man, and they're, Free. oh, Remember, nice mod. Back in the 70s, this was $150. Today, it's a 7 kilobyte file. Oh my gosh, is there really? What the heck is going on? I didn't know Activision had the rainbow. Activision Pride. Cheeseburgers really this bad for your teeth? <laughs> Seems so. Miniature tea cheeseburgers. That sound good. Free play is free because with their you pay their suffering and micro tears. You should pay me sixty dollars for this bull crap. <laughs> Nintendo makes some quality games, but their business practices are mind-boggling. Oh yeah, we could make a whole video about that. As marketing professor, I think it'll show this video is an outro to the price. You hit on some nice concepts. Fun fact: all game prices are set by Wario. Wario. What the heck? 60 is just a lucky number. Uh, I do not understand that one, though. 